interesting new video footage has come to light of Democratic Representative Jamal Bowman removing warning signs before reportedly pulling a false fire alarm in a House office building last month, which he pleaded guilty to yesterday. Bowman says he has struck a deal with D.C. Attorney General Brian Schwab to have the fire alarm expunged from his record once he pays a fine. You know, pay the fine. Three months from now, it'll be dismissed, and I'll be able to just continue to serve my district. You mean it'll be dismissed, like it'll be expunged from your record? I believe so, yes. That's the deal? Yes, yeah. With Capitol Police? Uh, ACD, the, the, the DCAG. Okay. Yeah. Here's House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries answering questions on Jamal, Jamal Bowman's actions last month. Bowman obviously went to the arraignment process this morning. I'm curious, there's a censure resolution that's been introduced against him. Is what he, he's done and admitted to in court worthy of censure? Not in my view. So I think this is a very interesting case. Now that we have this footage of him removing the emergency signs, it's not just that he was trying to get through the door and he thought that pulling the fire alarm would open it. I made an excuse for Jamal Bowman having grown up near New York City and taking the subway dozens of times. Oftentimes people, in, instead of going through the revolving door, they leave through what is labeled the emergency exit and no alarm sounds. It seems that this wasn't that kind of a case. I will say, he did admit he was rushed and trying to get to the vote, and perhaps he pulled the fire alarm because he thought he would miss the vote on the floor of Congress, to which I say, at least he is dedicated to being on the floor of Congress when there is a vote. We can't say that for many members of Congress. I would like to believe that's why he did this. Uh, maybe. He didn't look particularly rushed in that video, though. He's kind of meandering around, and the claim that was made in terms of the explanation of his actions when we first heard about it was that he pulled the fire alarm and was so panicked that he started running away to try to get to the vote, and I don't see him running in this video. I mean, every explanation that we've heard about this has been utterly ridiculous. The first that he thought the fire alarm would open the door, which has never been the case in, in basically any uh, instance of modern history where there's been an emergency exit. Then there was the explanation that the sign that was on the door must have been confusing because it was labeled emergency exit and apparently Jamal Bowman can't read. Um, but then it turns out he actually took the sign off the door and never even tried to exit through the door that he was supposedly trying to open, just left the scene of the crime. Everything about this is absurd. I don't know what his reasoning was. Was he trying to delay the vote? I don't know. Um, I think. The only reason that I would err on the side of that not being his motivation is that he wanted the vote to go through because it ended up being on the side that he wanted it to go. But I just can't think of anything else reasonable or rational to explain what he was doing here. Yeah, I think uh, Congress was a dumpster fire at the time of pulling the fire alarm. So is it justified for that reason alone? No, probably not. I was surprised that we saw this escalate to the point of going to the DA's office. I understand that this is a dangerous thing to do, right? Everyone says don't shout fire in the movie theater. Apparently, don't pull the fire alarm in the halls of Congress. I think it, it could be dangerous, right? Everyone rushing to get out, everyone's security personnel trying to figure out what's going on. It hasn't been exactly a smooth few years for the folks working to protect the Capitol. So I think, yeah, there are a lot of reasons why you shouldn't pull a fire alarm if there isn't a fire. But I think it's the proper handling of the situation to give him a fine, given that no one was hurt. Uh, it seems that he wasn't doing this for malicious reasons, regardless of whether or not we know the real reasons. But I think it's the proper handling of this uh, to issue a fine. I think that fines as punishment aren't great because it seems that if you are poor and you cannot pay the fine, you face jail time and you shouldn't go to jail for just not having the money. Uh, but I think in this case, we know what Jamal, Jamal Bowman's salary is, and I think it's justified to give him a fine and expunge this from the record after three months, given he doesn't pull another fire alarm.
Yeah, I would hope not. He also used to be a principal at, I believe it was an elementary school. And after he initially pulled the fire alarm, people were circulating the rules in terms of how it applies to the students at his school if they were to pull a false fire alarm. And it said that they could either be suspended or actually expelled from the school. So I don't know, maybe he should be held to the same standard that he held his students to, considering they were much younger and he's an adult and should know better and is representing the American people in Congress. He should have some level level of rational sense, but alas, politicians have proven repeatedly time and again that they don't even have even a modicum of common sense. I think the bigger story for me here beyond Jamal Bowman's actions was how quickly his colleagues came to his defense and tried to come up with all of these crazy explanations for what he did, tried to say that it was no big deal, tried to say that he was just rushing to the vote and he didn't know what he was doing. And then the video comes out and immediately debunks all of it. I think it's a good reminder to all of us uh, of how political parties play this game with each other on Capitol Hill. They're so quick to blindly defend each other, to make excuses for just about anything if it's someone who's seen as being on their team. And that type of tribal mindset comes at the expense of the American people who knew that they were being lied to about something as silly as pulling a fire alarm. Yeah, I think it's interesting that all of the Democrats came to his defense. It makes me wonder if this was a premeditated thing, if they had some kind of a plan. And because I'm sure Jamal Bowman has sit across a desk from a student who has pulled a fire alarm and heard the reasoning, you know, I pulled the fire alarm because I had a test coming up I wasn't prepared for and I didn't want to take it. So I decided to disrupt the entire school so that I could take it tomorrow after I study. He's probably heard the reasons. He could have been the one to talk to Hakeem Jeffries and other Democrats and say, listen, they're going to scheme some more. This vote might not go our way if we give them more time to convene with each other. So here's my plan. I'm going to go pull the fire alarm. It could have been a plan that they came up with together. It's just too weird to assume that Jamal Bowman was walking through the hallway and just randomly decided, you know what would be fun? is if I pulled the fire alarm <laughs> right before this vote. It just doesn't make any sense. And I think there's probably some more scheming going on here, some more strategy behind this uh, than it was just a mistake. Yeah, the other problem was that after he pulled the fire alarm, Jamal Bowman walked past seven uniformed Capitol Police officers and didn't think to say, hey guys, it was me, I'm so sorry, it was a mistake, I didn't mean to pull it, it's a false alarm. Instead, he just went right past them and let them to their own devices to try to figure out what the heck was going on. And to your point, this is a government building. This is a building that requires top-notch security hasn't always been the best in the past. Um, on the January 6th riot, for example, Capitol Police found themselves quickly overwhelmed and unprepared for what happened on that day. So you know that they're gonna take something like this incredibly seriously. They're going to have major concerns about what's going on. And this wasn't uh, the Capitol building. I believe this was one of the House office buildings, which makes it even stranger because you're less likely to have tourists in there. It's more likely to be a member of an office or their staff member, in which case you would think it would be less likely for a false fire alarm to be pulled. But knowing what we do about politicians, maybe it's actually more likely. Yeah, I'm a fan of fire alarm gate. I think it's one of the more interesting of the recent controversies in the halls of Congress. What an absolute mess this vote for speaker has been. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of members of Congress were sleep deprived and not in their best mental state. You know, it could have been an intrusive thought from Jamal Bowman that he decided to act on. It could have been like, you know, I've always wanted to do this. I haven't thought of him as this kind of chaotic, neutral individual as far as moral aligns, alignments go. Uh, but maybe, maybe he just wanted to see what would happen. And it was an intrusive thought from a sleep deprived Jamal Bowman. But I think going back to the strategy, is Jamal Bowman the guy for the job? I mean, he has a background in organizing. Uh, direct action is a part of organizing. Would he lose votes in his district from doing this? I think he would be the guy for the job if I were to convene members of Congress and be like, all right, one of us has to do this. It can't be our staffers because we'll have to fire them. It has to be one of us. <laughs> I can really see this being game planned. Yeah, I actually can too. And, you know, based on people I've talked to about Jamal Bowman, they don't really identify him as the sharpest tool in the shed. So it would make sense for him to be the sort of convenient fall guy who was willing to go along with whatever leadership told him to do and just play dumb because maybe he actually is. We'll be back with more Rising after this.